Alright, what's going on guys? Random Comic here. And I got some more Crisis 2 for you guys, and this isn't live or anything. I thought I'd finally sit down and talk to you guys and, you know, just have you guys listen to me for a few minutes. So, the one thing I did want to talk about, or a few things I actually want to talk about, are Crisis 2 in general and what's kind of going to go on on my channel. I posted some live game sessions of Black Ops doing, like, Sticks and Stones, uh, wager matches. And I actually really love doing those because I can upload, like, a whole session of playing the same guys. And I'll try to get... I'm going to be playing some High Roller match. I think that's what it is, High Roller, which is the most expensive one. So a lot of you guys were like, this doesn't really matter or anything. So I was just like, I really just upload because it was fun. Uh, the whole reason why I did it in the, the cheap-ass one where everybody can go in was because I just want to have fun. I didn't really want to go try hard and, you know, know that there's this massive amount of money on the line. But I guess it'll be even funnier when I lose a game to a last-second Tomahawk because, you know... Of some freaking guy tomahawk in the whole game and uh i really appreciate you guys liking that series so i'll definitely do the high roller match for you guys i want to do that uh crisis 2 don't worry i'm going to be posting uh variety games so on my channel one of the one things i've always wanted to do is always try to keep a variety and when black ops came out there wasn't really any other game out there but Medal of honor so for a long time all i was uploading was black ops and Medal of honor but finally there's all these games coming out there's Homefront, Crisis 2, believe it or not I'm playing Fortress Craft or whatever the hell that is. Uh, a lot is weird because I saw that come on Xbox Live and I was like, great. This may sound funny because Minecraft is a great game, this is nothing against Minecraft. My computer is such a shit computer that I can't even run Minecraft smoothly. That's how shitty my computer is, so you guys can imagine how long my editing process is and my rendering times and all that takes me a long time to get just one video out and when I bang out three videos a day that's taking up a majority of my time so I really uh, appreciate you guys always supporting me and always you know I can't voice enough how many uh, of you guys I really appreciate having and all the other new subscribers that I've gotten I will always always recognize you guys I'm not ever gonna you know just forget about you guys always try to talk back in the comments uh, there's this one, I didn't really want to touch on this, but I don't even want to give this guy attention, but somebody made a name on YouTube that was like, Random Comic Sucks, and I thought it was funny, because I was like, oh, that guy's funny, you know, he's trying to, you know, poke at me and jab me, but then all of a sudden he starts posting all this stupid crap on my channel, and I, it's so stupid, because like, I can just block you, it's, it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna block you, man, and it's so weird that I'm not even to the point where I feel like... I should have these haters. I I don't think I've done anything to these people or I've, you know, done anything to deserve this, which is weird cuz these these trolls are just coming out of nowhere. Uh I thought it would be funny, you know, if he was smart about it, you know, put some stupid comments, but he's just oh, you suck at this game, all oh, this and all that. I don't take any of it personal because it's over the internet. I mean, unless you've played with me personally, you know I'm a pretty good player, so I don't I'm not taking it personal. Uh Enough about that. I don't even want to give that guy any uh, spot spotlight, boy. But whoever did do that, come out in the open, and I'd gladly, you know, play with you guys. And uh, you could see that I don't suck. So uh, enough about that. Crisis Two. So what you're watching right here is a free for all game, and I forgot what they call it. Instant action or something like that. And it's really fun. It, <laughs> if you notice, is it? Almost every death in this is my fault where I could have avoided. And there's one part in this match where I get stuck. I don't know if you guys see, I get stuck in this wall and I am i can't get out. And it looks like I'm camping really, really hard, but I just want to let you guys know I'm stuck in the wall. And I finally uh, sprint and slide out. So I'm, <laughs> I'm able to get out of it. And at that point, I was like, no, why am I stuck in the wall? I thought everybody in the lobby was going to be like, oh, this fucking guy camping and shit, you know? And it's so weird. This free-for-all, or any game that has a free-for-all in general, spawns are horrible. I could literally just, like, sit in this general area, and I know a guy will spawn right there. And I didn't want to do this in this game, because I've played games where I could do that the whole game. I could kill one guy spawning the whole time. And it's it's so weird. I don't know why these spawns are like, yo, you literally spawn. I think even in this game, there's an example where I literally just spawn. I put on my cloak instantly, so nobody knows where I am, because the spawns are so horrible. And then I just see a guy run right in front of me. And it's amazing how... I think this 
uh, this game doesn't have it so your team spawns in a you know a general area in a bunched up area. It actually just spawns you here. You're there. Your teammates over there halfway across the map. And as soon as every time you start a match, I recommend going going right into cloak. This game. I love how this game has haters of the cloak and all this other whatnot, but it's it's equal opportunity. Everybody has the same opportunity to use the cloak to their advantage, and some people take it to the extreme where they camp and whatnot, which is, you know, unfortunate, but it happens. And the armor, I have no <laughs> problem with at all. You just gotta have a good, um, you know, have a really good... Uh, aim and then when you you have to have a good connection also because uh, while you guys were asking me if they thought this was dedicated servers usually EA when they release a multiplayer game is a uh, dedicated servers but this is the one uh, one recently that is actually peer-to-peer -peer. and I've, I've gone over this a long time ago in a dedicated servers video but peer-to-peer -peer is one guy gets picked host so when I'm playing with a free-for-all this is actually the first game I ever played where I didn't get host and let me tell you, it's frustrating. I think I was playing on like a two or a three bar, and I run into that guy, the ho the guy that's host once. And I'll tell you, I couldn't even get a hit marker on the guy. He instantly just snap of a finger killed me. And it's super, super frustrating to the extent where I don't know why they made this game peer to peer. Uh, I think all these peer to peer games. I'm yet to see a beautiful looking game that has dedicated servers. Except for on PC, there's you know PC usually gets dedicated servers, which is their advantage. A lot of people, if you can play on PC, you have the you know hardcore wanting to play. Because the, the only reason I never play on PC is because one, I don't have the money right now to afford a gaming you know uh, computer, and also I've never gotten really familiar with a keyboard and a mouse. I can barely play Minecraft. I get, I get, you know, screwed up by the controls on that. I play The Sims every now and then. That totally messes me up. I barely know what the hell to do. And it, that's the most extreme game I've ever played is The Sims. That's as far as my console, I mean my PC, can be pushed to play a game. If I tried to play any other game, the thing would just freeze and probably just crash instantly. <laughs> um, I've, I've seen a lot of guys pushing towards this PC movement just because... Battlefield 3 is coming out, and there's this majority of people that are pulling towards Battlefield 3. They're really, really wanting Battlefield 3 to be amazing, and if you guys are looking forward to Battlefield 3, number one thing to do is pick up a game that is made by DICE. All their games usually feel the same, they look the same. Either pick up Medal of Honor or pick up Bad Company 2. I know my brother some kind of hate's been playing a lot of Bad Company 2, and I told him that... I wonder if Battlefield 3 is going to be anything like that because he's putting a ton of time into it and I want to play it relatively soon too because I want to get the hang of uh, that before Battlefield 3 comes out but I didn't know if it was going to be the same feel that DICE has always had like if it's a more Call of Duty feel because Battlefield 3 is one of those games that you feel restricted in your sensitivity you feel restricted when you're moving around and all these other games always say that there's weightiness to it the guns have weight but anytime that happens, it's it's I can understand why they're going for that thing, like a more realistic push. But you know, you gotta kind of copy what's proven to work, and having tight controls isn't the best way to do it. But I think this video is pretty much wrapping up. Uh, I'll cover some more stuff that I want to talk about in a later video. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember just to click that damn like button, like the hell out of this video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Peace.